what are the activities of Hindu Students Council in the U.S.? So Hindu Students Council has chapters throughout you know, North America and the chapter level they do a lot of different program, programming events like Diwali, Pujas, yoga celebrations, um, Gita studies. So it's really up to each chapter and the members that are at that chapter on what they would like to do to kind of learn about Hindu Dharma and celebrate their culture. And at the uh, nonprofit level we host a lot of different events, retreats, um, camps, and conferences where we really help young people learn about their identity and um, feel empowered and also give them a lot of leadership tools to help them be able to run their chapters better and also be good leaders for tomorrow you know in in general whether they enter the field in business or politics or education we want to develop young hindus into good leaders can you also tell us because in your speech earlier you spoke about the discrimination the hindu students are facing in universities and campuses can you tell us about that what kind of it is and how serious is that sure so I was born in America and I grew up here my whole life, so I got to experience what the Hindu um, education was in schools um, from a young age. And the education that we're taught about Hindu karma from a young age is that you know Hindus uh, worship cows, eat curry, um, have the caste system, and you know just really ridiculous things. I was taught when I was younger that Hindus don't eat um, beef because we think our ancestors are cows. You know things like that are. Just just completely absurd and so what we try to do is teach young people about Hindu Dharma and what it actually means and so that when they do hear this kind of misinformation at from coming from their teachers or their professors that they have the knowledge and the ability and the pride to be able to go up to their professor or their teacher and you know kind of let them know like this is actually not what we do and this is not what I grew up learning about this is actually misinformation um, here is the correction and you know we don't want them to just feel like they can do that with their teacher they should be able to go up to the Board of Education and also say the same thing you know this is I am Hindu and let me explain to you what I believe in uh, can you give us some examples of discrimination against the Hindu students in campuses in recent past which you have taken up there are examples in the recent past of Hindu students being discriminated against in universities so for example in northeast northwestern northwestern university so in north I want to start over so in Northwestern University, we had uh, students that were told that Hindu students fund terrorism activities. We also have examples of a student in, or students in George Washington University here in DC um, that were actually flunked from the Hinduism class um, by a professor who said that you know this student was completely wrong in anything that she knew and she had written some papers. Uh, he would mark those as Fs, even though this student had grown up learning about Hindu dharma. Her papers were very, very clearly legitimate. Um, and she was told things like, oh no, it's impossible that there were any flying vehicles back in the Mahabharata times, even though in our text there are very clear descriptions of things like that. So those are examples of very clear anti-Hinduism or Hinduphobia kind of playing out. Um, and I mean, even I faced discrimination on campus um, in, in my school. And I was asked things like, oh, do you have a thumbtack in your head um, just because I wear a bindi? Or uh, what happens when you push the button on your forehead? I mean, these are very clearly rude things that people are asking um, and you know of course I had mentioned the example of when I was asked if my ancestors were cows um, and like oh are, is your grandparent a, a cow is that why you don't eat meat um, so things like that have always come up you know there have been people in my childhood that have tried to convert me into different religions and you know there was a time when I was at the Mandir and someone came by all of our cars and put leaflets that uh, demonized Makali and made her look like she was you know a horrible thing and you know you need to convert away from Hindu Dharma and become Christian just so that you know you could you don't have to worship this like demonic person so things like that have happened um, I was also at a Durga Pujo in Richmond and all the cars there were vandalized so there are a lot of examples of things that happen um, you know I was in Queens and the Gandhi statue there was vandalized and so you know there's lots of examples of things like that happening um, but I will mention one thing that's disappointing is a lot of times our Hindu students will hear Hindu phobic commentary and they won't even realize that that comment was Hindu 
homophobic or anti-Hindu because they don't know enough about their culture and their background to be able to identify that as a, a potentially Hindu-phobic content. So um, that's another thing that we do is try to help our young people understand about their culture so that they can identify and argue against um, times when people discriminate against them. Thank you so much. Sure. <laughs>